Something is not right here. Be on your guard. <gasps> Behind me! and fjord. But now, I am released. Alas, my lengthy imprisonment has slowly depleted my powers. If the skies above Sniffleheim are to once more dance with fire, then first I must feast. You shall have the honor of being the auroral Sarpanch Saba.
goes nothing. You must protect yourself. Ago. But where Aldwin succeeded, you shall succumb! What the... can't... move! Piteous wretches, prepare to be consumed! Hmm. 
No! My strength! It's straining away! What is that awful noise? Beast, be gone, thou black offence! May heaven's winds propel thee hence! everyone. I'll have you back on your feet in no time. Who are... No way! Bold luminary, Yggdrasil's chosen. Long have I waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. It's ever so nice to see you all again. Serena, it's really you. Thanks for helping us out there. But where did you spring from, and where have you been? I've been trying to make my way back to Arborea ever since... that awful day. But I got rather sidetracked seeing to those who needed my help. When I heard that the golden iceberg blocking Sniffelheim Harbour had melted away, I decided to try and make my way home from there. I never thought I'd meet you on the way. You're heading to Arborea, eh? We're on our way there ourselves. Reckoned you keepers would be the best folk to ask about a certain sacred flying contraption. A flying contraption? Well, I've never heard of such a thing, but I'm sure Father Benedictus will know something about it. It's so wonderful to see you all again. Would you mind awfully if I tagged along with you? Follow the path up the mountain, we'll be in Arborea in no time. Well then, shall we? Little angels, Veronica, Serena, please come back. We'll do anything. Fidelis, Alma, you must not lose hope. Veronica and Serena are the heirs to the power of that most holy of sages. As long as they are together, there is nothing that can. Oh. Serena? Is it really you? Mother? Father? You're alive! Oh, Serena, my little angel. I never thought I'd see you again. Serena, my child, have you come back to us alone? What of Veronica? Sh she's not here. But... I thought she must have made her way home already. She's certainly somewhere nearby. I can sense it. 
somewhere north of here. You can really tell where she is? Hmm. Yes, it's her. I know it is. We have to go and find her. You think Veronica's really here? If she is, she's keeping a low profile. When we were children, Veronica and I would often come to this grove to play. I was sure she would be waiting for me here. Veronica! Veronica, where are you? Oh. <gasps> ah, there she is! I knew it! <laughs> Wake up, lazy bones. You'll catch cold sleeping outside like this. Veronica? Hmm? <gasps> Look, her staff is shining. And so is the mark on your hand. Do you think if you touch it, you might have one of your visions? Veronica, you gave your life to save us. No! Oh, darling, 
even in your final moments, you were thinking of your friends. No! Oh, Veronica. <laughs> Why must the good die young? She wasn't here after all. She's gone. But I will not let her death be in vain. Where she led, I must follow. I have to tell everyone. I have to tell mother and father. Great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the symbol of all life. Today, we mourn the loss of a beloved child of Arborea. Though she came into life with another of your hallowed leaves, she departed this realm alone. May she one day return to you and bloom again upon your branches. I thank you all for gathering here today to celebrate the life of my dear sister. Even in her darkest hour, Veronica thought not of herself, but only of protecting the luminary. She was a keeper to the last. Now, I ask that each of you offer up a lock of hair to the sacred flame, that its light may guide her on her way back to the world tree. Veronica, my little angel. <laughs> Curse you, Mordigan. Why could you not have taken me instead? My darling, darling daughter, how could you leave us without saying goodbye? Serena appears steadfast despite her grief, but the sight of her poor parents is heartbreaking indeed. My child, I must speak with you and your friends. When you have a moment, please come to the cathedral. Thank you. 
forgive me for summoning you here at this time of sadness, but there is something I believe you will be eager to hear. You came in search of the sacred conveyance upon which Erdwin and his allies rode out to face the Dark One, did you not? How did you know that? For well, some days before your arrival, Holy Yggdrasil granted me another vision. I saw you on a luminary. You were standing alongside Serena upon a great white object that transported you to an island in the sky. A strange and beautiful place. And you think this was a vision of the future? I do. For in my dream, Veronica was not with you. I have been greatly troubled as to what her absence might mean. I had hoped and prayed that my fears were unfounded, yet, alas, they were not. Which made me wonder if the conveyance upon which you stood might also be real. And then, I remembered. Cetacea. The legends tell of a divine being who soared through the skies on silver wings, a beast summoned to Erdwin's side by a mystical melody. Perhaps it was upon Cetacea's back that you rode in my vision. And perhaps the island upon which you alighted is the next step on your journey. I intend to scour the annals for indications of how she might be summoned. I will inform you forthwith if my researches should prove fruitful. Now, the day's unhappy events have surely taken their toll. Rooms have been prepared for you all at the inn. Pray, rest a while.
it's a love song from the age of heroes. The story of a lady pining for her long-lost sweetheart. No one remembers who wrote it, but I've loved it since I was a little girl. You know, something's been bothering me. Veronica? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll... fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. But I hope they do. <sighs> Serena, I want you to promise me something. If anything happens to me, promise you'll finish this without me. <gasps> I shan't promise anything of the sort. I don't even want to think of such things. If only I had promised to do as she asked. Perhaps she might have been able to make her sacrifice more easily. She was right, you know. I always have been slow. When it came to talking or walking or learning magic, I was always a step behind her. But now I must tread my own path. Alone. <laughs> I hate to ask, but would you mind awfully not going anywhere for a little while? I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry to be such a bother. But I shan't be one any longer. Veronica died to save me. I must make the most of my life, for her sake. No more tears. That was the old me. Goodbye. What in the world? I feel... different.
morning, or should I say good afternoon, the sun's already high in the sky. Father Benedictus dropped by earlier. He says he has something to show us at the top of the mountain. Everyone else has gone on ahead, but I thought I'd wait for you. Shall we go and join them? There's a little door to the right of the cathedral. The path is through there. you could finally join us. Idrisil blessed me with another vision in the night. I saw Veronica standing upon this very ledge. It is known as Luminary's Landing. When Erdwin descended from the heavens after facing the Dark One, this is where he alighted. And this is the Calamus Flute. In my dream, Veronica played upon it. It once belonged to the great sage Serenica. She left it in Arborea on her final visit, the day after the Dark One finally fell. I gave it to Veronica as a memento of her heroic ancestor. And yet, when I awoke this morning, there it was upon my pillow. It is a sign. The flute will reveal the path you must tread. Serena, my child, if you would be so kind. Of course. be doing it wrong. But if Veronica's vision, it must be the key. Can you try, perhaps? The mark! It's glowing! Fishing rod? I fear it is I who am seeing visions. You got a bite! Oh, go on, darling! Reel it in! suspected. It was upon her back that you rode in my dream. The sacred conveyance of the luminary, Cetacea. It seems that she heeds the call of the flute. You must play it whenever you require her aid. Go, Luminary, 
and seek out the floating island. It is the World Tree's will. Whatever awaits you there will surely aid you in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. Do not let Veronica's sacrifice be in vain. Now, play. So there really is an island in the sky, just as Father Benedictus said. I wonder if he was right about there being something helpful here too. Is that a temple of some sort? Well, there must be some reason we were brought here. Shall we go and find out what it is? We can see you, you know. Come out from behind there. Huh? <gasps> what is it? Ah, it's you! I'm off the Watchers. The Watchers? And what are they? Of course. Ground dwellers not know. Not know of us. We watch over Erdria. Watch for as long as Erdria exists. Well, what do you know? And what are you doing skulking behind a pillar, Mr. Watcher? This is home. Home of all of us. Once were many islands. Many watchers. But the attack came. Lord of Shadows. All crashed. Only this island remains! Only me! That's awful. Mordigan got to you guys too, huh? Sounds like you've been through a lot. Sorry if I was out of line just now. How come you survived anyway? 
And why did this place get left alone? Guiding light burns within. Has burned since time began. Was in Temple of Dawn. Here. Was cleaning. Attack came. Was protected by guiding light. This guiding light of yours sounds pretty special. We're here looking for a special something to help us defeat the Lord of Shadows. Do you think the Guiding Light might be it? Hmm. Not now. Is not weapon. Cannot defeat. Perhaps. Wish to help, but am only child. Know little of world yet. Guess we'll just have to take a look for ourselves then, huh? Yes. What are we going to do about our poor little friend here? Not worry. I'm fine. I'm Watcher. Story of Watcher's not over. You meet Lord of Shadows. Then World Dream returns. Cycle restored. Life and rebirth. Dead ones get new life. My brothers, my sisters. All begins again. Please, Luminary. Succeed. Wait. You know who he is? Just get squished down into that little thing? saw that too, right? Yes. That man. The mark on his hand. Oh. You don't think... <gasps> ah. Aye. I do. And I have a feeling you've the same instinct, laddie, eh? That was Erdwin, the luminary of legend. I never thought I'd see him with my own eyes. So those were the original heroes? The ones who defeated the Dark One way back when? The more we know about them, the more chance we have of finding out how they beat him, right? Ah, you're not wrong. Let's see what those other seedlings have to show us, shall we?
see the size of that hammer? Was it just me or did it seem special somehow? It was no weapon, that much is certain. A forging hammer, if I am not mistaken. But what were they forging? I wonder. Well, I think we all know where they were at least, don't we? Let's see if the last seedling makes things any clearer. what we saw correctly, they found some ore and a hammer, then went up a mountain and forged a sword. <gasps> Wait, of course. The Sword of Light. Indeed. They would not have gone into battle with the Dark One unarmed. Yes, that's the power we need. That's how we'll drive the darkness from the world. But Mordigan took it, right? Unless... Are these visions trying to say we need to... Yeah, that must be it. We need to make our own Sword of Light, just like the old heroes did. <laughs> All right, we've got ourselves a plan. Not much of a plan, but we'll just have to fill in the gaps as we go. Let's start by paying a visit to the places we saw in those visions. I'm betting we'll find some more clues there. It looked like they found that ore on another one of these floating islands. I reckon we'll need to have a word with our wee pal about that. And that was Galopolis in the vision where they had the hammer, right? Maybe the Sultan knows something. <gasps> oh, and I remember now. That mountain, it's the volcano near Hotto, isn't it? How could I forget? Oh, sounds like we're going on a wee world tour then. Hotto, Galopolis, and, uh, wherever that other island happens to be. It seems we're setting off on another adventure, Veronica. You'll be with us in spirit. I know it. All right, let's go to work. <clears throat> looking for ore on a battleground. Mine was there. Mine of great ores. Great powers fought for ores. Great battle occurred. Great losses. Great pain. Victors took all. No ore. No more. Perhaps. Tale of centuries ago. Perhaps tale false. Perhaps all remain. Perhaps. Well, it can't hurt to go and have a look now, can it? Come on, you lot. If you forget purpose, if you need clues, come to me. Tales from Grandfather. 
नहीं 